What is up everybody? It's Alfred. I'm back with another video. It's been a while. Um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just noticed that one of the videos, the clips of me hitting the Royal Flush is like blowing up for some reason. So I just wanted to try and stay consistent. I know I said I wanted to upload a video once a week. Clearly that's not happening considering how busy I am and how lazy I am. And because like, basically, each recording I do it doesn't make the upload. I usually have to try like four or five times to find I before I feel like I made a good enough video. So yeah, uh, here we go. It's um, currently Saturday afternoon around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, we'll start off with a little gamble here. I don't really care what's going to happen just to maybe keep things fun, do a little gamble here but yeah other than that uh poker wise i've just been watching a lot of videos and run at once that's pretty much it haven't been playing because of my work schedule and other things other personal projects i've been trying to work on so far not so many interesting spots yeah, i've only been really playing on the weekends and mainly just watching training videos on my spare time, uh, trying to refine some strategy, mostly working on things like check raising. So I'm going to go for a 3-bet here sometimes, but um, yeah, I'm going to roll a bit lower, so maybe not this time. Started off with a pretty interesting hand. Um, let's see if it's here. Um, I just started recording, so I kind of missed a 3-bet pre. So I went for this weird line where I check raise a flop with top pair, top kicker. And he calls. Turn goes, I bet a bit bigger, he calls. And river, I just block. Yeah. Um, even with the queen, ace queen suited, I'm pretty sure this is just a fold. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of ace king here, a lot of aces traps basically. Uh, ace queen suited is not really gonna perform well against a limp jamming range. Maybe if he has jacks and tens, like we could get behind on a call. But um, I just think this play is just too nutted for us. Uh, I don't mind folding. Maybe the EV is close to zero or something. But yeah, now that like that video is blowing up, I feel like I need to make somewhat decent quality. Try not to say um too much. Starting off, going to start off with a check here, even though we do have an overpair advantage. Uh, with no backdoor flush draw to over cards, I think I want to start be a little bit more careful, especially against a cutoff calling range. The king is pretty good for us. It's going to be a high frequency bet spot for us. I think I'm just going to go for the half pot and see what happens on the river. Pretty nice premium here. We got the queens. And get a call from the button. Flop is not ideal. I think we can go for a small bet or just check, depending on how we're going to be playing uh, the other portion of our range. We will be checking some traps here, such as um, aces and me such as aces so we're kind of protected in the spot pretty good turn considering that limits the amount of ace x he'll have and on the river i think we can just block and get or bet a little under half pot get called by some sort of 10x maybe jack 10. pretty much just going to be folding on board one and going to be trying to show down the pocket fours against some ace highs or high cards and looks like we got rivered by jack7 suited who called out of the small blind just pretty nice to note that this guy has a wide calling range and looks like we weren't even good against the fives
another premium here. And we're going to get uh, a three bet and a cold caller. Uh, with a hand like ace king, I just like to jam in these spots, pick up the dead money. I'm going to see what my note is here. He calls deuces, big blind versus cutoff, early position three bet. Um, so he seems like the stickier player, so I don't mind going for a bigger raise here. Not really expecting much folds from the button, to be honest. And if he has aces, then so be it. Yep, we're just going to snap this off here. Uh, looks like we're ahead. Let's just run it. And with the queens, we're going to be squeezing for sure. Good board, no three. And looks like we make it. With the queens, we could just jam here. Four bet, five betting seems a bit nutted. Uh, five, six suited is kind of a weird spot. There's two regs here. I'm just going to fold. I'm going to be jamming the queens against a donk from the big blind on this dry board. I'm just going to call. We two do turn torn. We do turn top pair, but uh, Queen Jack gets there, which is pretty obvious. He's going to check, and after that, I expect him to have a lot of weak hands here, like some type of Jack-10, some type of combo draw. Um, so his range is still relatively weak. I'm just going to be betting small here. Trying to get a call from that 10x. Not gonna be entertaining this kind of open jamming even with ace high. We could be ahead against like some king queen, but um, yeah, it's just very bad, very weak hand. So we have pocket jacks, another nice hand. Against button, I'm gonna be four betting pretty high frequency. We are a bit deeper, so I'm going to size up a bit. Um, with the ace three suited, I'm mostly going to be checking on this kind of board. Small blind calling range does have a lot of high cards that we do need protection from, but um, our hand doesn't have much improvability. If we had more backdoor equity, I think I would prefer a bet. Uh, but this range just this board just hits his range a lot harder. He calls a lot of these small pocket pairs. I'm kind of suspect on the turn now when he's betting pot. If he has a flush, it's kind of a weird sizing. Yeah, but either way, we just have to fold. I'm just trying to think of what hands he's going to be betting that size with. On with the king jack suited, we have a pretty obvious squeeze here. Um, might be going to twelve. Guy seems a bit sticky. So flop is pretty good. We do flop top pair. We just lose to like king queen off, which is a uh, possibility. Tens is also a possibility. Uh, we're never folding this hand. We could just jam here, get it all in, but there's not much to protect against. So I'm just gonna call. We do turn an open ender. On the turn, there's not, just not much of a sizing we can pick. And it looks like he was just trying to get us to fold whatever air misses. And on the river, I'm just going to go for a big sizing. Um, we're pretty much value betting here against some kind of ace high, mostly high cards that might get sticky. We do have a lot of missed flush draws here that will be betting this size. A small size with a, a small size doesn't really accomplish much if we're trying to get him to fold. I'm gonna go for an over bet now. Actually, eight nine gets there. It's not the best card for us. I think I'm just gonna go for a normal sizing a little bit over half pot, and gonna go for a half pot bet on board two. And even though we're multi-way here, I still want to be 
betting for protection. We do have some nice backdoor straight equity. Yeah, it looks like it pocket threes, so turns out our read was correct. Uh, pretty weird check raise here. It's huge. It's gonna make an exploit fold here, even though this might seem a little bit tight. Um, or we might be forced to peel one. I'm gonna go for a not sure what sizing on board three I'm going to be taking, but uh, yeah, I need to review the spot for sure. I just don't know what the sizing here is. Uh, we have a straight. We're not caught. We're not folding. Uh, I timed out on the nine ten. It's just a weird hand. I'm just not sure how that's what we're supposed to do there, but uh, I'm going to review that spot for sure. If he has eight ten, then like. <laughs> So be it, you know. I think in some level we could exploit fold here, but not this time. This is such a weird play. Hmm. Ch check raise is fine on the turn, but I think the jam on the river is a bit too ambitious. Because on the turn when he check raises, we're already folding like our over pairs on the turn. When we call, we basically have like a set plus there. I'm just not sure. Maybe he's trying to get us to fold a set. Board two, I'm going to be very careful. Multi-way, even though we have some nice backdoor equity. Maybe we missed a bet, to be honest. I'm just going to call here. I guess a big lead on board one. I think we're mostly folding and just checking down the middle pair. And we lose to a queen. Gonna check raise on board two sometimes. This hand looks like a good hand to do it with. He calls. So he could have a bunch of over pairs here, even some 9 10, some top pairs. I think on this turn we're going to check again. And on the river, do we have a value bet? I think we can just block here. Uh, let's see how we're <clears throat> sorry, doing so far. We're up three buy-ins, so it's a pretty good session. I did run a session that I was off stream a bit. I mean, off recording, and yeah, I uh, was break even after like 2k hands. It was just funny. I was down four buy ins the entire session, and then I just get a insane double up, a three way all in with aces versus kings for like 300 big blinds. It was insane. I'll try to find the hand. Other than that, we're doing very well. Maybe I'll show the month as well. I was also playing some 5NL last night, trying to do a recording for 5NL. But that's in the bin. Yeah, this is what I mean by the, um, oops. This is what I mean by the uh, losing session, then we just make it back up in 500 hands. We do have some backdoor equity here, but considering how deep we are, hmm. I think we're just forced to call one. We still beat some queen jack. I just don't know how often he's taking that sizing with the hand like that. On board one, I'm just going to be betting small here on this board. We have a cold caller to a three bet, and I'm trying to show my king down here. Gonna get check raised, so it's a pretty easy fold now. And gonna be value betting with the eight on board two. This one, he is pretty much always like ace king in this spot where they cold call a three bet and then check raise a flop on a king high board. 
uh, flop bottom set here and we unblock all the aces a lot of the two pairs so we can pretty much just bet big here and try and get value from ace x on the turn we can do some over betting but um i think we're just gonna be going for a big bet really nice checking down the ace high and we just river a two pair here so i think we just bet big here i'm gonna be calling here and pretty clean river release to jacks aces that's pretty much it so we have a pretty clear value jam here he can ha easily have some two pair ace deuce ace jack but his sizing makes me believe that he has a missed backdoor flush draw nonetheless just pray for ace jack here Checking multi-way, not much of a choice, we're just showing this one down. These guys with like lots of hands plays, I just mark them as reg. And we get a tank fold, makes me believe he just had a weaker hand like ace -X. Or maybe just tank tanking just to um, balance his bluff. Look at that. King high wins. I don't know if I want to mark this guy's reg anymore. He called um, King Jack off in the small blind. So I've seen some ranges do that. Like some ranges call like weird Queen Jack off or King Queen off in small blind against cutoff open. But in like this structure where the rake is in insanely high, I just don't think it's a good idea. Gonna be three betting sometimes with the king, the queen nine off. Trying to show it on the sevens now, especially when there's a four flush. And we get pip. The blue tag here basically means that I'm not sure if he's a reg or not, but they seem like an experienced player, if you know what I mean. Like him having a million hands played must mean he's experienced, but just not sure how well his strategy is. If he's calling King King Jack off in the small blind, this is a weird sizing here. I'm surprised he goes for a sizing this small. On a blank turn, he should either just be like bombing this turn or just checking. I think we're gonna attack this small bet here. We do have the gut shot to the nuts. Gets a call. River's not good. He could river some two pair here. So I think we just shut down on this turn, on this river. If he shows me like pocket tens, I'm going to lose my mind. And we win with queen high. <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting hand for sure. Definitely got some hands to review. I just realized I wasn't tagging the hands I wanted to review. But definitely that sizing on the turn is weird. I'd say. Gonna be betting this bo like these paired boards sometimes. It's like a mixed strat here with the overcard and a backdoor flush draw. I don't mind taking a stab at it. All right, coming up to the 20 minute mark, I'm going to start sitting out. Turn's not the best, but we start beating like sevens, eights here. I think I'm just going to check back here for some pot control. Um, and I think we just have to call a river. He's going to have to bluff his fives, you know, his fives, sixes, sevens, those kind of hands. And multi-way again, we're just going to check. On the river, I don't think we can value bet. Just not much worse that calls us. On this turn, it's like very um, 
small blind does have a lot of ace x but on this turn i think we have to call our hand we get some weird two pair and on paper this looks like a really good bluff but just the way we played our hand the only thing we can really rep is like pocket tens and in ace is never folding in this spot so against a block bet we have an easy call but uh i'd expect to see lose here a lot to be honest against some sort of king queen queen jack that has us pipped and he does have an ace and on this river we're folding so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's see how well we did welcome to all the new subscribers thanks so much for just um watching the videos even if for even if it's for a minute really appreciate the support let's see how we did today that's spotify <laughs> right here oops a bit laggy let's go to today and looks like we are up 300 big blinds basically a really good run hot session and this month we're also up a lot the 400 bigs running pretty well above ev having a nice red line and let's show our all time and yep we're doing pretty well almost to 20k hands so thanks so much for watching guys have a good one